In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the InSwan document software. When you first open the document software, you'll see the main function buttons arranged around the central display area. Let's begin with introducing the settings. Once you click inside, here you can make changes to the settings. For video input, make sure your InSwan document camera is selected as the input device. Below that, you may also adjust the video format and resolution. Higher resolution will provide crispier images but may take up more space. Experiment to see which format works best. For the audio input, you may adjust to the InSwan built-in microphone if you like, or use the computer built-in microphone. Here it will say the default save location for where your files will be saved. After making any changes, click Start Preview to save. Then we can exit back to the main screen. In the upper left corner, you'll find six operating modes. Live, Playback, Drawing, Scan, Batch Scan, and Code Scan. We will introduce every single mode and how to use them in this video. Right now we are in the Live mode. The Live mode captures the real-time feed from your document camera. You can put your material under the document camera and it will capture it in real time. At the bottom, you can see three camera adjustment buttons. Click autofocus to automatically sharpen your image or click the plus and minus buttons to zoom in or out. On the right side, you'll find various annotation tools. Draw freehand, add shapes, or type text. You can modify line thickness using the slider. Remove the annotations by hovering over them until your cursor becomes a hand, then click and drag. You can change the ink color by clicking this button in the lower right corner. Click this button to change the fill color for shapes. You can also reduce the opacity to zero to remove the fill color. Click Erase Selection and drag over specific areas to erase. Or you can click Erase All to clear everything at once. Use Undo and Redo buttons to revert or restore the actions. Under Image Controls, you can adjust the brightness, white balance, rotate or flip your image as needed. Click here, then you can drag the slider to adjust the brightness of your image. Drag the second slider to rotate your image. You can also flip the image horizontally or vertically. If you need to pause your image, use the freeze view. Freezing an image helps maintain visual continuity and can be useful when transitioning materials or displaying a moving object. Click the button to freeze your image. In the upper right corner, it will say that the freeze view is on. Click the button again to turn freeze view off. The snapshot function allows you to capture your annotations as an image. In the upper right corner, it will display that the snapshot is saved. The image will be automatically saved to your default folder. You can also record your lectures or presentations by clicking the record button. Click the record button again to stop recording. The video will also be automatically saved to your default folder. These functions can help you save your lecture notes or teaching lessons for future use. If you need to work with an existing image, 
You can import files directly into the document by clicking this button. Select your file and it will appear on the screen. Once you finish editing or annotating, you can also export your work for later use. Click Export to save everything on the screen as a PNG file. Want to capture multiple images over time? Use interval timer shooting. Set the interval and select how many images you want to capture, then click run. The system will automatically take pictures at set intervals. These images will be automatically saved to your default folder. This feature enables teachers to automatically capture images of student work, experiments, or other classroom activities at set intervals. This can be particularly useful for documenting progress over time without needing constant manual intervention. Playback mode allows you to revisit previous images or videos stored on your computer. Any images or videos in your computer can be opened in the playback mode. Click open file to import and preview media. Let's import a video. You can use the playback controls to pause or play and adjust volume of the video. Here you can annotate using the editing tool if you like. You can also import an image to annotate further. Let's try importing an image. Just like that, you may also annotate further if you like. Drawing Mode provides a blank canvas where you can create notes, diagrams, or sketches using the available drawing tools. Start by choosing the aspect ratio of your blank canvas. Select either a white or black background. You may use the editing tools on the right to annotate on the canvas. In the scan mode, live images may be captured by the document camera. Click this button and drag the four corners to the area you want to scan. Click this button to toggle the selection area to full screen or back to the previous area selection. Now I will show you how to scan a document. First, place the document under the camera. Then select the desired scan area. When you're ready, click this button. If you like, you can also annotate using editing tools. You can also adjust the scan image using these controls at the bottom left. Normal shows accurate color tones. Photo selects ideal tone for photographs. Document selects ideal tone for documents. Mono produces a black and white image. Invert will invert the document colors. You can also click this button to customize your settings. You can drag the slider to adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, and the sharpness. When you are ready, click this button to save. You can also adjust the format and paper size for your scan. In the scan mode, you may use the OCR tool to detect text and export as text files if needed. First, place the document under the camera. Then select the desired scan area. Click Capture, then click the OCR button. Select the primary and secondary language of the text for optimal extraction. Click the Run button to extract the text. Then click Save File. The extracted text can be revised and edited in any text editors or word processors. If your document includes images or complex layout, Adjust the scan area to the text part, one discrete areas at a time for best results. In the batch scan mode, you may continuously capture live images and documents, saving many button clicks. Start with the first document to scan. Select the desired file format, PDF or JPEG. Adjust the selection that you want to capture. Click this button to toggle the selection area to full screen or back to the previous area selection. 
When you choose PDF scanning, the page count will appear in the top right corner, and all images will be combined into a single PDF. Click export to PDF to save it. Your file will be automatically stored in the default folder. Or you can switch to JPEG scanning mode, where each scan is saved individually as soon as you capture it. Following the same process, select desired scanning area. Now you may continuously capture multiple scans. You can see that each scan will automatically save to your default folder as individual JPEG files. In the code scan mode, you may quickly identify any QR codes or barcode information efficiently. Select either QR code or barcode mode first. To scan QR codes, place a QR code under the document camera. The URL will appear and you can copy the text or open the link directly. This provides easy access to QR code resources directly onto your computer without having to use another device. You can also select the barcode mode to access information via barcodes. Place the barcode under the camera and the information will appear. You can copy and save this information for future uses. This can be useful to track textbooks and library books, enhancing efficiency in the classroom. Thank you for listening. This concludes our tutorials on how to use the NSWAN document software. If you have further questions, feel free to contact our customer service team at service at inswan.com.